Hello, I'm Sandra and I work as a business development manager with the institution. I'm based in Glasgow and I cover Scotland. And over the years, I've helped many people successfully gain their professional registration with iMeCE. Today, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the steps involved in getting your professional registration with iMeCE. And the way I like to explain the process to applicants is to think of it as having three distinct steps. So the first step is academic requirements. Does the academic qualification you hold meet the academic requirement attached to the grade of registration that you wish to apply for? So for chartered engineer status, you'll need to hold an accredited MEng in mechanical engineering or equivalent. For incorporated engineer registration, you'll need to hold an accredited BEng degree or equivalent. Now, if you're unsure about the status of the academic qualification you hold or are studying for, then please use the qualifications checker on our website. My colleagues in the membership department will then be able to advise you on the status of your academic qualification. So if it's accredited, that's great. If it's not accredited, then you'll be required to undergo an academic review because we'll need to ensure that your qualification is the equivalent of an accredited one. In some cases, you may be able to use technical work experience in lieu of formal academic qualifications through our career learning assessment process. So step one is academic qualifications. Do you meet the requirements attached to the grade of registration that you wish to apply for? The next part of the process, or step two, is the competence requirements. Now, the competence requirements for all professional engineers in the UK is mapped out in a framework which is called UK Spec. And UK Spec stands for UK Standards for Professional Engineering Competence. So there are five competence statements for CENG and another five for IENG. And as an applicant, you need to be able to demonstrate to us that the work experience you've gained to date meets the competence requirements attached to the grade of registration that you wish to apply for. So for chartered engineer status, you're typically looking at at least four years of work experience. And for incorporated engineer registration, you're looking at at least three years of work experience. But really, it depends on you as an individual and what you've achieved throughout your career, because everybody will have different opportunities available to them, different attitude towards work, different work ethic, etc. So it depends on a variety of different factors, to be honest. However, as a starting point, it's useful to look at the competence requirements. So competence A is all about your knowledge and understanding of engineering principles. How have you applied the academic knowledge that you gained as part of your formal application and put it into practice in the industry sector in which you work? Competence B is all about your ability to solve engineering problems. C is all about your leadership and management skills. D is all about your communication and interpersonal skills. And finally, competence E is all about the IMECI code of conduct, the environment, ethics, sustainability, and also your commitment to CPD or continuous professional development. And IMECI has a number of tools available that you can use to record your work experience, um, either the monitored professional development scheme or the developing engineers program or the supported registration scheme. So after you've graduated, you need to build up evidence of meeting the competence requirements and then you detail that evidence in an application form. Now the application form is the same for all applicants whether you have five years experience or 25 years experience. So you need to write it in the first person and you need to be clear and concise and succinct in the application form. Now my colleagues and I put together a whole variety of different webinars that you can access free of charge which will give you help and guidance and support in writing up your application form and in preparing for step three, which is your professional review interview. All applicants for chartered or incorporated engineer registration need to attend a professional review interview. And that interview lasts for about 45 minutes. And I'm pleased to say that the success rate at interview is over 90%. So the vast majority of applicants are successful. But there's lots of help and guidance and support available to you to help you through that process. So to summarise, gaining professional registration with iMeCE consists of three distinct steps, academic requirements, 
competence requirements, and then demonstrating that you meet those competence requirements through writing up an application form and attending a professional review interview. There's lots more guidance on all of the steps I've outlined on our website, so I'd encourage you to have a look at the website or get in touch with us if you need further guidance or support. Thank you very much. We're here to help you.